What's good, y'all? It's Jay Coffee on the vid. How the fuck y'all doing out there? Let's jump into the news, man. It's crazy. You see this video rolling here. We know we've been keeping up on everything going on over there in the Ukraine, uh, Russia. It's just wild, man, having a conflict like this playing out all over the news and everything, but with social media. You know what I mean? The ish that uh, we see on this social media that we've just been com- become accustomed to seeing day to day. Uh, over the years, you add war to the list. It's just wild, man. But uh, this individual was just chilling when, like, uh, a missile just struck right, right on. Um, right while he was just—I don't know if he was doing a live or what, man. But um, you know, they're captioning this one like, "Yo, the U- Ukraine um, is is doing damage to Russia, but it looks like Russia, you know, might have started like." Ukraine's been winning the battle, but it looks like Russia may may win the war. Uh, I guess is 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 something to that effect is what they're saying, man. Is is wild, man. Um, you know we got a lot of problems in the United States. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but the fact, like, I, the way I always put it, man, is it's capitalism. Okay, we're free to do a lot here that that people ain't a, free to do in other countries, right? Uh, like criticize the government and ish like that but uh the dollar reigns supreme over everything it, you know morals go out the window it's all about money over here you know what i'm saying capitalist society and all that but um i don't know man uh, just tap in with your thoughts regarding this whole conflict man um do you trust everything you see you know like that's not some whole conspiratorial ish as well like there's been stuff that's been flat out like declassified like yo this was some, this was put out for this reason, but it wasn't real. This was manufactured to make people think this, but like many times over uh, history. So at the end of the day, who knows really what the fuck is going on? Then we got Milk here. You see, uh, he he got a message from uh, who is it? B Real's nephew of Cypress Hill, legendary rap group. I guess uh, he's thinking he may end up on B Real TV, and also. He's sharing with everyone that he's got, uh, you know, a a podcast on the way. I guess he's getting right, getting all his equipment together and everything. And real quick, let's stop and talk a minute about uh, Milk for a second. We cover him a lot on this channel. Like I always say, love Milk, hate Milk. Uh, The man has maneuvered through a lot in this come up that he's on in this digital space, you know. Very abrasive guy, goes against the grain very often. Uh, But he's doing something right, right? But, uh, you know, um, I got a feeling the way, like how he's trying to push this podcast out. Comment and let me know if y'all think, like, w- people love Milk's reactions and people love to hate Milk's reactions, if you guys feel me. You know what I mean? Like, the reactions is what it is with It's Milk TV. But I- I've put out there before, I think he could, you know, really tap into the a lot of the artists' Um, on the come up out there on the west coast or all over the place and kind of in a sense do what no ju- jumper has done but with his own touch on it and and really grow the platform like real talk you know comment and let me know if y'all agree and we got to talk about it too i'm not going to dig into it too much it's wild right now right because milk got that co-sign from his neighborhood right um and once again y'all i'm a nerd I'm not on all the street ish or whatever, um, but we it, it's on the internet. You feel me? We're talking about what's going on. It is what it is, right? But, um, like he's engaged in an odd situation right now because there's something that he and I, and I'm not going to get too far into it. This is something that's like sometimes there's topics that come along and uh, people who can pull certain strings like certain topics get deaded and milk's covering something right now that that's kind of like going on and it's wild too because there's an extra dynamic to it because where he just got that cosign one of the individuals on no jumper um gave him a cosign too trail then another individual on no jumper who's always you know been cool with milk um is going to be mad about what's going on that milk's covering right now you know what I mean? It's like a wild situation. Comment if y'all know what I'm talking about. Let me know. Like this situation can get very tricky, and um, I don't know. We'll have to keep an eye on it. But 
like I said, certain things, they end up becoming a no-no to report on, if y'all feel what I'm saying. And I, I'm, I'm not going to go too much further into it. Then we got uh, Eminem, MJ. This is funny. Um, Eminem just did an interview recently. We were talking about that. I guess he was kicking it with MJ on the phone once and was like, yo, you, when you come into the D so I can dunk on your ass. And, yo, I've heard Eminem can actually hoop. Like, not like he's, like, super nice with it, but he can ball a little something. Like like Adam Sandler. But I don't think his game's on Adam Sandler level, though. But anyways, um, he said there was, like, an awkward pause, and MJ was like, and then he laughed. And then later he was like, damn, did I, did I fuck that up? Did I piss off MJ? Because we know MJ's super competitive. He loves to gamble and he loves to compete, you know? And he, he was just like, I don't know, man. It, it feels like a lot of people um, that we've heard over the years talk about their interactions with different celebrities and stuff like that when they got famous. They, like, there was always some awkward energy when it came to MJ. Y'all know what I mean? And then to close things out, okay, tap in, y'all. Tap in. You know I'm a movie junkie, a nostalgia junkie, a TV junkie. I'm a goddamn junkie. I might, I should start calling this uh, Coffee the Junkie or Coffee Junkie. Maybe I should change the channel to Coffee Junkie. But anyways, um, reboots, prequels, sequels, alternate universes. We know it goes down with movies, right, being redone. They're redoing this classic. And I say classic, I throw that around a lot. But I mean really, really classic. Uh, white Man Can't Jump. One of the best movies ever. I mean, come on, yo. And then talking about another white dude that can hoop. Woody Harrelson did all his own stunts. Like all that on the court. That was Woody Harrelson crossing people over. Hitting jump shots. You know what I mean? Yo, why could he not? He could not handle to not gamble and lose all Rosie Perez's bread. Alex, uh, foods that start with Q for 500, Alex, you feel me? But, um, yeah, they're redoing White Man Can't Jump. And Jack Harlow is going to be playing Woody Harrelson's part and apparently killed the audition. But what do y'all think? Should they have just left this one alone? And, um, yeah, Harlow getting into the acting game. So many rappers jump into the acting game. And y'all remember when Academics was going at it with Freddie Gibbs? He was exposing that a lot of rappers don't have as much money as we think they do. Why do you think so many of them want to transition into the acting world? I mean, don't get me wrong. It's probably dope to be an actor regardless. But for real, think about that. But that's the news for now. Thanks for watching. Tap in. Let's get them discussions going. It's Jay Coffee, And I'm gone.